What is going on guys, it's me, Farwild, and today I'm doing a video on how to control Warlord. Now, uh, as you've seen on the gameplay here, this is my first Halo 2 anniversary gameplay. We're looking at Warlord and my teammate nades me right off the start as I try and grab the camera and get away with it. Um, so basically, this uh, this is basically how to control uh, the game on Warlord, how you can win. So, right off the bat. At the start of any match, you go for power weapons, don't you? That is what you do. And are there power weapons on Warlord? No, there aren't. The, the only, uh, I think there's shot, there's shotguns, I think. <laughs> and there are, uh, it, there's an active camouflage at top mid. Now, <clears throat> I strongly advise the camouflage. Um, if you can pick it up undetected, unlike at the start of the match, if you pick it up undetected, you can rack up quite a few kills going undetected throughout the map. It's not like previous, um, it's not like 4 and Reach where a little mini map notification will come on if you pick it up. You will literally be invisible unless you take shots or like you run too fast or something like that. Um, so control camo. With camo, um, sit, uh, no this is just genuinely, just sit top mid. Top mid is so powerful on this map. You can see every spawn. Look at the amount of cover I've got. I've got pillars either side of me, front, back, left, right. I think there's eight, eight pillars, four pillars perhaps. Look, top me. Look, if I get shots from, I, I know, but I could have moved round then. I could have moved round and got myself in cover. Um, what you need is a team, good team. See, I'm going top mid again because I know the top mid is causing the opponent's problems. Also, don't, um, don't sit your flag. That that is that is a bad thing to do. Um, if you sit your flag on, um. Warlord, you will not be able to get shots off uh, at the enemy team. What you want is either top mid, yellow or green base. Um, that is, those are the sides you want. Though, if you get, if you cover those three points, you control the spawns. If you control the spawns, you control the game. If you control the game, you control the power weapons. You control the win. So if you have people on uh, top mid, yellow, green, the, they will spawn in either red or blue flag. That that is just how the game works. That that is where they will spawn, or to the underside on the under bridges, or something like that. That is where they will spawn. So force them to spawn there. To get them to like literally just force them to spawn. As you can see, I'm still controlling top mid. My teammates, uh, I've got one teammate sitting um, top blue. I think it might be. Um, he's not doing too much, but um, I've got another teammate sitting bottom green. I think that is, and another teammate roaming right now. Um, do not sit bottom, that is a stupid idea, because as soon as you're bottom, you're, you're liable to get naded. Look, I'm going for camo right now, undetected, and you actually see that I actually pick up quite a few kills with the camo, um, actually being able to go undetected. There's one, and look, my camera recharges, there's two, there's my double, and I managed to get shots off on the third. Um, camo lasts quite a long time. It's either 30 or 60 seconds. I don't know. Don't quote me. It's one of the two. See, another kill with the camo. Literally, camo is so good on this map. Um, literally, do not sit bottom. Get camo. Sit top mid. Yellow uh, yellow or green. That is literally... Don't sit bottom either like this guy doing. Look at the nades swarming in. And I can just shoot down on him. If you sit top, that will not happen. Look at this again. My teammate instantly picks him up. Oh, we were just swarming on him like flies then. Um, look, bottom again, look, just so easy. Also, use the teleporters to your advantage. If there's stuff happening on the other side of the map, just use the teleporter. Chances are people aren't looking teleporters um, because of the way um, people use them. However, if you're sitting top mid, you've got peripheral vision. You've got vision left, right, and center. You know where people are going to be. You can just, you just, it's like, oh, what was that map? Oh, I've forgot, completely forgotten all the Halo 4 maps, but... Um, literally, you just know where they're going to spawn. Use your knowledge. Where are your teammates in relation to where your enemies are? Where are the teammates in relation to where you are? And where will your um, enemies spawn in uh, because of that? Just, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say on this Warlord. Basically, control the power weapons, the shotguns, and <laughs> shotgun and camera. What a combo that is, mate. What a combo that is. Um, sit top mid, top mid you have so much vision, normally only one person top mid is enough um, because they're, out, they're able to um, scan the map and say where people are and call it out chances are they're by lifts or on or on the flags, that, that is literally chances are as soon as you've got someone top mid 
the rest of your team can spread themselves out evenly and just just call out red flag and then the people at red I mean at yellow green and you at top mid will be able to all shoot at that player and chances are if one player spawn in there two, uh, one or two more or maybe even three three more will be spawned in there as well so the co communication is key get your positioning right you get your positioning right on warlock uh, warlord you will win the match anyway guys that's all from me hope you have enjoyed like subscribe twitter and twitch and see you guys all next time Peace out.